Hello everyone, welcome back to my series of cool stuff. So in this little bag, I have a, a lighter. And if you can see here, it's got a little deer on it with a, probably a rhinestone for the eye. Um, it's a Aria, A-R-I-A, made in Japan. Vintage, I would guess probably post-war, late 40s, early 50s. Uh, my sister gave me this probably over 20 years ago. And the cool thing about this is, it's a music box. It's got an on-off switch. You can stop the music and start it again. I have no idea what song that is, but I thought it was really cool. Now, the thing about this lighter, which I thought was cool too, was it didn't work when I got it. But as you can see, it works now. So I needed to um, fix it. And how I did that was, here's the insert. So this part's the music box in the bottom. And I'm going to show you a couple little things here. Now, if you look at this diagram, it's not the same lighter, but similar workings. You have this thing right here, which is called the clutch spring, okay? And what that does is that stops the wheel. Um, uh, they've been called spark wheels, flint wheels, file wheels, just plain old wheels. It stops it from going backwards so that when you push the button, when you push this down, the wheel only goes that way. So it scrapes the spark, and it doesn't go back this way, okay? So whatever was supposed to be in there was missing. And um, this is the only thing I could find that, that looked like it could be the spring. And the thing is, um, I was going to buy one of these on eBay, but the ones that weren't broken that, you know, said works... They were pretty expensive. I mean, they ranged anywhere from like 37 bucks up to like 80 bucks. And I didn't want to spend that kind of money just to see what I needed to make to get this one to work. So I put my thinking cap on. And um, what I noticed was, if I can open that. If you see that little screw in there, that that's, I said, well, they must have put that in there because it was a set screw. Now, this screw was loose when I got this. So I figured... There was probably some type of spring in here because that's where the wheel was. And I didn't think it would be something like this because there was no room. I mean, it barely just slid in there, the, the spark wheel. And what I did notice was on the back of the spark wheel, there was gears. Let's see if I could draw them. So they sort of went like this. And they only went in one direction. So, the idea is that this, the wheel doesn't go this direction, it only goes that direction, so that when you flip this, it sparks. So, I figured that there had to be some type of flat spring that caught into here. So that when it was going in one direction, it would catch and it wouldn't turn. And when it went the other direction, the spring would move. So, I put my thinking cap on and um, I made a spring. And this is what it looks like. The flat part here with this little curve here, as you can see. And this little curve right here is what caught into those gears. So it sits in there like this. Let's see if I can get this right. Yeah. So here on this end here is the, the screw. So it actually sits in there like this. Okay, so the screw is pressing down on here, and it holds it up, and then this part here caught into those gears, so it only let the wheel go in one direction. Hopefully that made sense, and um, I'll be honest with you, I could not believe it actually worked. It worked, it's been working, it works great, and uh, that's what also makes this even cooler. I love this lighter. It's so great. 
So there you go. Another item in my uh, cool series. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And like always, I appreciate your views and I appreciate your comments. And oh, one last thing. This is what I actually made that spring from. It's a little piece of stainless steel ruler. Um, I ground it down, made it a little flatter on the end. As you can see here, the uh, lettering and everything is ground off. And I cut it out of this because it needs to be, you know, springy and stiff. So I just want to mention that. But like I was saying, everyone, I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your views. Um, I hope you all are having a great day. And I hope you enjoyed this other uh, episode of Cool Stuff. And we'll see you on the next one.